Hello and welcome to another recording uh, for my channel. This will be another uh, Sto episode video. It will be The Wastelands, A Fistful of Gorn. So let's get started on this. If you need it, I've got it. Okay, when you first been down here, I wasn't so sure about you. But after what you did to, to Hassan, yeah, you have some skills. So some Riemann escaped with the triggers. Tough break. I bet he's out of the sector by now, but if there's one man on this rock who would know where to go next, it's Law. He can help you bring an end to all of this, then we can all celebrate with some drinks at the bar. I'm on it. Okay. <laughs> if you need it, I've got it. Contact Law. You find a note written by law. Two first. The Gorn that serve Hassan have taken notice of you. With Hassan out of the picture, they're making a move to show their strength. They're sending a man to kill you, but I decided to take him myself. I need to do this. I've lived in life I lived the life of a coward, not the life of a Romulan. The Gorn will most likely kill me, but at least I will die taking a stand that I ran away from two years ago. I hope you that you've you're the person. You're, I think that should have type of person. I hope you're the person you seem to be. If you are, you'll continue to help the people here after I'm gone. This cutscene's a bit long, but it's kind of you know classic. Now, this is embarrassing. I leave a death note behind and you'll, you find me alive. Guess the situation isn't as bleak as I thought it was. You've got that look about you, though, though one that says that you need information. What can I do for you? Explain the situation with the Tel Shiar. If there's anything on Nimbus, they're probably using a, the satellite station to the south. Hassan used to them to say, stay in contact with the Ryan Syndicate without the risk of anyone intercepting his transmissions. I think that's how he coordinated his last attack. The Tel Shiar could probably do the same thing. But there, that area is t territory of, of a pack of Gorn separatists. They don't like anyone who's not a lizard. That will make it harder, but not impossible. Your best bet is to go to the canyon, disable the exterior satellite cables, gather the satellite codes from the Gorn, and then hack the main satellite. That will cut the Tel Shiar on Nimbus off from the support. The canyon entrance has a giant rock arch over it. There are a couple of paths down from the upper rim to the bottom. In the meantime, I'm going to take stock of what I have here for some plans of my own. Okay, let's run. Okay. So I don't know exactly where the um, entrance is. It's been a while since I've played this. But we'll head for the arch first and then look around for a, a pathway down. And I think, I'm pretty sure you can see the arch from the doorway here. There, there it is, yep, huge arch there. Okay, so... Go, it just says go to the satellite, doesn't actually say where the entrance is. And there's no little circle here to say that that's... So that's where you have to go. So I think we have to go... Okay, this um, guide poles to show you where to go. There 
you go. Start up the descent into the canyon. Collect codes, I believe. Oh, disable, okay. Okay, these things are normally guarded by Gorn. I'm guessing a, another character is just ahead of me. I can only assume another player is nearby that's wiped out the Gorn before I got here. Just sitting around or nothing. Oh. A member of the Klingon Empire, are you here to enslave us just like you did the rest of our brethren? We will not bow knee to you, ever. We are free and we will die or kill to remain so. You're slaves to the Orion Syndicate and the Tel Shiar. That's not freedom. We are slaves to no one. We choose to work with the Tel Shiar and the Orions because they can help us give new life to the Gorn Horomacy. Oh, Orogeny. I can't pronounce that word. Our task may not be glorious, but it will lead to a brighter future. The Gorn that toil for the Klingons can no long, cannot stay, say the same. Blah, 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 blah. You are a slave to the past. The Gorn Horomacy is dead. Enough talking. Face us or run like the cowards you are. Okay. Follow the arrow. Okay. I think I have to kill some Gorn and also um, cut some wires. First, the Gorn system has addi have additional protection from an encrypt encrypted lockout code. I could try to bypass it, but we ran a, a risk of running, sending the system into high alert. We might need to try the direct approach. If we man manually sever some of the cables, that will give us time to work on the bypass without setting off the system alert. To give us a better chance of success, we need to we would need to recover security codes from the Gorn in the canyon. Very well, let's get moving. Okay, so you'll find little glowing green bits on the cable. That's where you have to point your phaser and cut. Just like this person is. But protecting the cable is gone, so... I seem to want to... Take... What? Why did I run backwards? What? What's going on? Okay, to add. cut the cable on its own. Well, my character, sorry. Cut, cut the cable on its own. Oh, items to take. So I will. Don't want to be in Paradise City. Very. The option to cut never showed up. Well, a lot of items to pick up. A lot of VC to make. Well, they are dropping a lot of loot. It's all like low level loot, but still every credit um, you collect is good. I'm 
sure if I have to like cut any more cables. It's not telling me. Oh, there it is. Disable satellite cables. So one more after this. I'm not taking enough damage to um, heal. My shields seem to be pretty strong, so um, this is a bit of a downer because I was hoping to get this um, Endeavor reward. Actually, if I stop shooting... They're not going to they're not attacking me. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. I was hoping if I didn't attack them, that like it would take a little longer to kill them, and I'd get more damage. But they just seem to be ignoring me completely. Ah well. The next mission, hopefully, oh, I've got six hours, so the next mission should take give me enough damage. So the uh, Tel Shiar are a little bit stronger than the um, Gorn. So if you can time this right and you find another group, you can actually um, double up the rewards. Okay. It would appear to set up the number double in value. So 5 and 20. 5 and 20. Okay. Unlock sealed doors. Ah, arrow right there. Head out. Head. So you just follow the cables, basically. You can't get lost if you follow the cables. Oh, don't walk on the cables. Just follow them. <laughs> you just got to find a way up and just keep moving on up and again it's just zigzagging up or snaking I think is another terminology used and you can see that the cables are coming up you just follow the cables again the arrow is still there saying straight ahead let's see don't really need to attack these things, you can run right past them, but again, e extra um, rewards, extra uh, experience points, it helps. And another bit of loot you can sell for energy credit. I think the sand might be slowing me down, because I don't seem to be running as fast as I... spell it if you just keep running as you can see nothing really happens they're falling behind but they'll catch up thought that was the way in Oh no, that's the transporter. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure this thing wasn't here earlier. I think they've activated this with a later update than from the last time I played. Ah, oh, that's the end of the mission. That's why I can't find the door. Yeah, so that is the door. Like, that is the entry. I've, I've finished this level. Okay. First, can you hear me? You survived the Gorn and found Hakid's base. I'm well and truly impressed. I've been thinking about something. There isn't anything left for me here on Nimbus. With your permission, I'd like to join your crew and help you stop Hakiv once and for all. 
Okay. That's now kick. Not just yet. everything we do is for the Not just yet. Let's have a look at the rewards. Law. There you go. So now he is part of your bridge, uh, your duty officers, not your bridge officers. I did do a video on um, the previous, just before this one. I haven't actually labelled it or anything. I just put it on my channel of the uh, Zen Store special for three days or two days now. You get um, a bonus amount of Zen when you buy. Let's see. I think it, it deactivated yesterday. But hopefully, it's reactivated because you can only do it once per day. Holodeck. There we go. So you get an additional 5,000 bonus Zen for the 200. I don't know what the bonus is for the smaller amounts because I never buy that much. I always go for the $200. I think it's about 260 Australian dollars because this is a 200 American dollar. So for Australia, it's $260. But I got that extra bonus Zen. I got, I had 28,000. 28,000. I boosted my I boosted my uh, inventory, so that was maxed out. As you can see, buy more slots. I cannot lo longer buy any. So I maxed that out. I did the same with my bank account on this character. I maxed out my bridge officers. So if you remember, I had about six empty slots here. Now I've got all of these. So I've maxed that out. What else have I done? Um, I think that's pretty much it. I just kind of maxed everything out. Um, featured, didn't worry about. I have, all, I had all of these, so I didn't have to worry about. Had all of these, so the only thing I really need to worry about is the ship upgrade tokens. Do I have them on me or not? I must have put them back in the bank. But I think I've got about uh, six or seven of these, so I don't really need to buy any just yet. I bought one of these just to test out what I'd get, and it wasn't really much. So again, I've got a whole heap of each of these, plus uh, other. Uh, duty officer packs that you can get from loot boxes. Um, I will eventually be doing a video on loot boxes, just opening a couple. So I've got about 260 keys. So if I divide that, it's 130. Um, divide that by 20. No, so if I divide that by 10 is 13. I might not be have enough. I might have to buy some keys. Um, Just because um, I've got loot boxes, I've got pretty much all the different loot boxes. And even if you don't have, and when I say loot boxes, I mean loot crates. I'm not sure, sure what the exact name is. Loot, a oh, lock box, not loot box, lock box. So I've got um, all the previous lock boxes. I've got them saved on a, another bank account, another character's um, a bank account. So that I can just go and collect 20 of each, um, then activate these sort of things. Uh, research and development, I'll buy uh, one of these to show you what that can be good for. And again, I have pretty much purchased everything. Anything else that's in the red here for special is something that is used on um, when you buy it. As soon as you buy it, it's, on, it's used up. Do I get a four pack of fleet modules or not? Fleet modules. No, no four pack. Services, again, I maxed out my... Uh, I didn't buy any character slots because I got enough of them. I think I've still got another three or four left. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Character slot. I bought out a few dry docks. I think I got about 50. Just so I can get a few more ships. Don't care about outfits. Don't care about loadouts. I bought a few ship slots just so I could get a few extra ships on my um, character. Already maxed out. I maxed out that, maxed out my bridge officers, maxed out my duty officer, maxed out my uh, inventory slot. Oh, this is uh, the Jampadar starter pack, so I've had already previous had that, previously had this. Boosts again, um, you will get them from lock boxes, so I don't really see the point in spending on this. If you're gonna be buying anything, I recommend you buy keys to unlock loot boxes, because um, for where is it? Where are we? For a hundred, for a hundred um, uh, energy credits or Zen credits, sorry, you can actually get 
some boot. You won't necessarily get the boost you want, but there's a chance you can get it from a lockbox. So you can see here where they're expensive. You can actually spend a hundred and just get that. If you're lucky, you might get that on your first go. But all of them are useful in one way or another. So I recommend instead of buying the boosts, go for the keys. If you've got the credits for it, go for the keys. And the 10 packs I think are like, um, you buy nine, you get one free when you compare the price to the original. So it's better off getting the 10 packs as well. Uh, appearance, I've got them all anyway. Promotions, I've got all the ones that are available. I bought the bridge officer. These were already active. Don't really care about triples, so you can collect them as you play. Um, I already had the um, Targ pit. Uh, I've already activated all of these things. Combat pets. I've already got, I think, one of each. Let's have a look. Crystalline. Elysium. So what's this one? That one and the. Ah. What? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Let's see that one. And... Oh, I don't have the red one yet. I must have gotten that one free somehow. Promotions again. I have everything active. Legacy. Again, I've been playing this since the game first started, so I've pretty much collected everything over the years. Whenever there's a um. Uh update to the game, a new season added, like the uh, Delta Quadrant, Gamma Quadrant, uh, the Romulans, I always buy the um, packs, I think they're about a hundred and something dollars, uh, Australian probably close to 200, but I always buy these things, um, and you can see if you buy this, you get this as a secondary for all your characters, so this one's for one character, and then this is for every character on your account, um, so that's pretty good. So I did a quick video on the... Um, benefits of the Zen store. I've done a video on the Z store before on all the different aspects of it and um, the Dilithium store um, and how that works. So um, if you want to uh, see those, I've got uh, videos on them. Just um, do a search. It should be on my channel somewhere. Um, what else? If, uh, if there's something here that you're not quite sure about, I'm happy to do a video on it, but it's pretty much straightforward. Special items, you just click on it uh, yeah, there you go. Just right click and it'll bring up what it does. Um, for the most part, these things come as one, but down the bottom, you got boxes of 10 of them and they're a bit cheaper sometimes. But not everything is a box of 10, but some of them do. Um, combat pen, pet. So this is like a, like a little robotic um, uh, uh, mobile tur turret, pretty much. But again, you get 10 of them, um, they're used, as you can see, 10, why would you need 10 if, it, if they're a keepable thing? So basically you use them and they, they die after a certain amount of time, power runs out or whatever, cannon. Uh, these are just different weapons and stuff you can collect, I'm pretty sure that's a consumed on use, there you go. EVA suits are pretty much the same. Hangar pets are just uh, more advanced versions of your ship. Um, I don't think my ship has hangar pets. No. So under tactical consoles, you'll sometimes have hangar. It'll be one or two slots, depending on the type of ship. And um, they will normally be a blue or rare. These are a very rare, which is the next level up. But you should be able to get ultra rares from your um, fleet holdings. Different fleet holdings have different um, rarities, uh, different uh, varieties of uh, hangar pet. They're pretty much like a shuttlecraft. Uh, these are high level things, so once you've unlocked a side special uh, that has the experimental weapon on it, you can just keep reclaiming that. And same with these, these are um, Dominion class ships, uh, a T, T, T5 or T6 Dominion ships that have special two consoles. Intel modules, uh, command modules, temporal modules, miracle worker modules. Pretty much all work with your kits, so pretty much this, these things here, the modules for the kits. Again, uh, different um, factions, so mine's tactical, he can only use a tactical kit, and a science officer can only use a science kit in engineering and engineering. Accounts, um, starship traits, is this thing here. Once this unlocks, you so say you get to level 6, every single character on your account 
can use this benefit. So you don't have to go all the way up for this benefit on all your do Dominion characters. The only reason you need to get to this level is if you want to get the four on each character, and then that one's already unlocked anyway, and then that should be unlocked on every character because it's unlocked on one. So those last two unlock for every character once you have it unlocked on one. That's pretty much how the Lithium store works. Okay, so the next mission, um, we, this door should be where you enter, and then I think it's a uh, elevator goes down very deep, and then you just fight your way through the Tel Shiar. I'm not sure if it's before or after, but um, Tel Shiar appear on these balconies and then attack you from there as well. Okay, I'll end the video here. Uh, any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm happy to take criticism down below. I just ask that you keep it civil. Um, thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.